Hello once again Autodesk people, my name is Jay Ayala of Autodesk. I'm a solutions engineer based out of Portland, Oregon, and the video series you're about to watch is General Contractors Data Collaboration. So we're going to specifically focus on Revit MEP 2011 and Design Review 2011. Welcome Autodesk people. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we can take these um, very enriched models from Revit and uh, let me let me launch Navisworks really quick here and what we're going to do is we're going to take and collaborate not just the model itself but we're also going to collaborate the data the data is very important now um, as a builder you know we may not have um, a need for uh, all the data associated within the model however this model is data rich and some of our sub consultants they may find this um, this data uh, very valuable for what they do on a day-to-day -day basis data like something as simple as the width and the height of this piece of uh, ductwork that we're looking at maybe the elevation which is referred to as the offset here things like what type of objects they are and then check out all these other parameters that are associated to this one piece of ductwork right so to us as builders it may not be so valuable to know all this but to our subconsultants this might be everything for them so we can do this a couple of ways and I'm just going to show you natively out of Revit how we can do this. And I just launched the DWF export. Now we can do different types of exports. Um, here's the properties and once you dial these properties in you're going to want to um, make sure that you've got the right one set up of course. And uh, you know we can also export the project information and uh, the right view type. And what I'll do is here is I'll save it on my desktop. Now I can save it as a DWF or a DWFX. And um, again, we can change the, the naming convention um, that can come automatically from the project. Um, and it'll give us the name of the file plus the name of the view or just the name of the view. Or I can manually type it in here. So I'm just going to name this file commercial building and I'm going to save it on my desktop. All right, so uh, now that we've got that file created, it's um, it's actually in the process of creating right now. It takes about 20 seconds, and um, I'm just going to forward through the video just to get you the results here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our desktop and uh, open up this commercial building file that I just created. So here we have Design Review. It's a free piece of Autodesk technology, and um, anybody can download it to be able to review these files. So as you can see, we've got the architecture, and we've got the mechanical uh, electrical and plumbing components but um, we may not be interested in the architecture and there's very quick way to turn that off so here in the selection tree I can just select all of that stuff and you can see it highlighted and then I just hide it so let's take a look at some of the components here let's go and focus in on this end of the building now the data the data is being able to have the ability to share the data let me pin open this um, this object properties palette here and I'll just select a piece of ductwork. Now you'll notice here that the data that we as builders may not be so interested in um, however our sub consultants might find this extremely valuable It might be everything for them. So here's the size we can take a look at things like the bottom elevation and even things like the system uh, type. What, si what type of system is this? So again being able to share this information might be extremely valuable to another party. So it's all about the data and how we want to share the data. And this is a free way we can do it. This is just out of Revit. It's a DWF file. It's a snapshot. They can't modify anything. Um, and the cool thing about DWF file is that we can also open it inside of Navisworks. Um, but there's a little bit of a catch, which that's kind of why I want to show you here. Now I'm going to open up that commercial, that commercial building DWF file. And Navisworks will take a few uh, moments to go ahead and convert that to an NWC file. Now again, we, we have the uh, architecture here, and we might not be so interested in the architecture. We might want to know about, I don't know, the pipes or the plumbing or something. So you can just select objects and use the hide button in the, uh, in the contextual uh, ribbon here. Or, again, just like you did inside of DWF, you can see that I can select the, um, the Revit architecture link and just turn them off just use the hide features and now again I've got the Revit model and here I have the uh, just the MEP stuff 
So do you remember how I mentioned that you can open DWF files in Navisworks, but that there's a catch? Here it is. So I've opened this in, in this DWF file inside of Navisworks, and I don't have my parameters, right? So that's what we want to do is we want to share these parameters. Maybe you know a, a different uh, company, a subconsultant, is after these parameters. So I don't know how to do this, guys. At least I haven't been able to find them. And believe me, I've tried everything. I've tried searching through the different um, selection resolutions, and it's not working for me. So I haven't found a way to get the parameters from a DWF file yet. So let me go ahead and delete this NWC file, and I'm going to move this DWF file over to the right of my screen here. And um, here, I want to be able to export this model, this with all the parameters, I want to be able to export that out to Navisworks. So I'm going to go to my Autodesk homepage, um, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. There's a free utility that you can download from Autodesk that will get us um, that particular export feature and functionality from Revit that will carry all the parameters over to uh, over to um, Navisworks. All you have to do is in the in the search toolbar, just look for Navisworks Exporter, and it brings you to this page of results. Now at Autodesk, we are in fact you know a sales company and we sell software, so we want to capture a little bit of your information. Just go ahead and fill this out. It's just basic information, and it'll grant you access to the export utility. So go ahead and download that, but I do have to tell you, this is a fair warning everybody, this is a huge file to download. It is almost one gigabyte's worth of information that you're going to download, so it'll take a while. And why is it so big? So I thought about that, and what I want to do here is I just kind of want to show you, you know, the, uh, the clock flying by. It took me about 19 minutes to download this. The reason why is because the export tool, it works on all the different pieces of Autodesk software. I think it's a total of 11 different pieces of Autodesk technology. And on top of that, it also it also um, does 64-bit and 32-bit installations. So that's why the file is so big. But once you've got it downloaded, um, I'll show you how we can leverage this so we can export the Navisworks files with all the parameters uh, right out of Revit, so stay tuned for the next video in the series. On behalf of Autodesk, my name is Jay Ayala, and the video you just saw is part one of the General Contractor's Data Collaboration Series.